What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Zig and Bagel here, and welcome to Star Trek Online. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to tap that like button, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. This is one of my favorite MMOs of all time, and one of the few that I actually come back to on a regular basis. I really like it because it's one that is very focused on story and has so much to do, including ground and space combat. So I decided I'd bring a Let's Play in for all of you to enjoy, and we're going to start with a new character. I created this brand new account just for YouTube with no characters on it. It's on free to play account, so I have no specials or anything. We might change that eventually, but we'll start as a free to play just like anybody else might. Uh, we're going to start off with Starfleet as a tactical officer, but I'll show you right now that they have Klingon, they have Romulan, and I don't even know what the, the original series Starfleet is now because that is something that has been added since after the last time I played. So I'm sure we'll figure that out at some point. But for now, on this series, we're starting with Starfleet. And Tactical, which we already have. I am thinking of going with a Vulcan character. There are a lot of choices to be had here. Here's Vulcan. And I think I'm going to go through and work on the appearance settings and background myself and bring you back in when I find something good. Alright, I will be right back. And welcome back. Alright, I think we have a good choice for a character here. He looks pretty awesome. I'm just going to go over a little bit of all these settings here so you can see just how intricate the character design is in this game. You have so many options and choices and can change so much for every option between the head scaling, eyes, the nose, mouth, there are so many options. They have basic ones that you can go through, you can randomize things by these buttons here, uh, they have different stances that you can choose from, that's a standard, I chose brawler, they have creature which is interesting to say the least, uh, they have gruff, relaxed, stern, swagger, thoughtful, and twitchy. Alright, and then you can even choose between your height, and that's just from the head. If we go to body, they have all these options for body. You got your torso, your arms, your hands, your legs, and even your feet. And then we move on, and we have uniform options. As a free-to-play, there's less uniform options than you would normally have, but still. There's a lot of different types of uniforms to choose from. We might change this eventually with different uniforms, but right now we went with a basic next generation film setup. And you can even put your rank, so it's nice whenever you rank up to change that, so you have different rank insignias on your uniform. We have the command insignia on, and we've gone from there, changed some of the colors, like for the belt and the shoes, just to kind of match with our tactical red and then we go to the background where you choose your your uh, character's name like this is actually just for more formal names so you can make a biography this is more the name that will be displayed as like a player name which I've just done Zig and Bigel Gaming and then you do your ship name and you can write a biography I'm not gonna put in a biography right now we might put in one later maybe if one of you has a great idea for a biography you can put it in the comment section down below and for now I put a ship name as the USS Varagon I don't know if that means anything it was just the first thing that kinda came to my head alright we're going to engage I'm sorry if things are loud, I'll try to change them, but here's the intro video. After I left Starfleet, 
I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. 21 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of I miss you, Leonard Nimoy. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg sorry, have reappeared, it's a laggy or and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. Just trying to engage the video here. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. Star Trek Online. All right, so our journey begins. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. Alright, so today's episode we're going to go through the tutorial section. Uh, these episodes will probably be longer than most Let's Plays, just because the stories can take quite a while to get through. I'll try to cut them down when I can, but they can be quite intensive. So I hope you will stick with me in long Let's Plays for the series because it's kind of how most who make videos on this game have to do. But I will do my best for you. Alright. Gotta above their heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk with them. Alright, I'm just reacclimating myself. It's been a very long time. Well, at least a year since I've even come on. Alright, let's talk. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. How could I? You've reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. Alright, so we gotta talk to the cadet. And he's up ahead. Ugh, oh, it's laggy right now. Sorry about that. Alright, let's talk to him. There you are! I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final. And for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? I haven't received my assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farron get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. All right. And all right. If you look on the mini map on the top right, it helps you decipher where things are. All right. Talk to this cadet. Greetings. All right. Brazkill said you had something to tell me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. 
Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper yourself. Continue. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Exactly what I just said. Alright, am I going the right way? I might be going the long way. Let's see. I'm just gonna go for a swim. Alright, talk to this cadet. There you are! Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Thanks. You, Lieutenant. Good afternoon, Cadet. What can I do for you? Is this where I get my training cruise assignment? Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Zegenbagel Gaming, of course. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. Is there a problem? You're going to have to ask him. All right, let's continue. That was not a very Objects you happy can kitty. Interact with have a glow around them. Press F to interact with the doorbell to okay. notify Captain Taggart of your presence. Ring the bell. Come. Oh, I'm sorry with the lag today. Sometimes that happens when you're around Earth. Talk to Captain Taggart. Cadet. You asked to see me, sir. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. Well, thank you, Captain. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. All right, now we actually have choices. I know that program is advised for tactical officers, sir, but I thought I had more time to take it. Or, many of my classmates didn't take the test either, Captain. Is that an issue? Uh, I'm just going to go with the first one. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program. And I want to see good results, no exceptions. Did you say senior staff? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Your tactical officer, sir? Who is that? Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few... blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. Sounds I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, cadet. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I accidentally exited while I was saluting. Yeah, I've played. Th this game is actually my most played on Steam. I've played, I don't know, only about 2,300 hours or so. I have about, I don't know, eight characters on my main account. So it's been a long time since I actually wasn't skipping through some of these conversations because I have heard a lot of them quite a few times. Alright, let's talk to the cadet. I got the tactical officer spot, just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Captain Taggart says he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass advanced phaser training first. You never did that? I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Now you tell me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Lead the way. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. Yeah. 
I Star Trek forget the Voyage that he Home reference. He yeah. seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. To sprint, tap the shift key while oh, the last me. one of the console buys the first round tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, I've never beat her. All right. Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. All right, we have choices. Have any advice for me? I want to pass this. I'll need a phaser. I'll just say I need a phaser. Phasers are in the lockers by the Holodecks. You can grab one there. Let's go. Press the V key to scan the area. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. Just like that. Here, F. The pistol has been automatically equipped. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead. Oh my gosh, why? Lag. Move to the center of the room. All right, let's hope. Alright, we can crouch, which helps us be better defended. In combat, right click on a target to fire your weapon. Alright. Die, play on scum! While in combat, certain actions are disabled. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. Okay. Exit simulation. You can holster and draw your weapon with the H key. Alright, holster it so we can step forward and talk to the captain. Oh, oh, uh, uh. Well done, cadets. You're not gonna break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Thank you, Captain. Do you have an assignment for me now? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations! First officer? Sir? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Thank you, sir. It will be an honor serving with you. Alright, let's talk to Cadet. First officer, way to go! Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. Alright. What can I say? The captain sees greatness in me. I think you should just start referring to me as sir. And it's a lot of pressure. I hope I'm up for it. I will go with the more humble approach. You'll do great. <gasps> but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Alright, let's go to the shuttle bay. Report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. All the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I know Vulcans don't get nervous, but the rest of us do. And this is our first real assignment. So I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming, something... Okay. Just don't scare anyone. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. Alright, continue. Uh, I will try and see if I can work out some of these laggy issues for the next episode. Alright, let's lead our toast. May I have everyone's attention? Begin speech. Having been one of your classmates for the past four years, I have had ample opportunity to study excuse me, your reactions in many different situations. As your first officer, it is logical that I use this information to best instruct you on how to carry out your orders. Galvanize the cadets. We will operate effectively and efficiently. 
I ask no more of you than I ask of myself. Raise a glass to the class of 2409. All cadets, please board your shuttles. Oh, so I guess you can chat with the different cadets, but we'll just move on for now. Alright, talk to the deck officer. Are you ready to head to the ship? Yeah, let's go. I am very excited to bring this to you as I know the stories get very intense and amazing as it goes on. It's one reason that I've stuck with this game for so long is the stories have actually gotten better. And I can't believe we're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. The USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But, but we here's are, yes. our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She is a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. Yes, we do. All right, let's talk to Flores. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. All right, continue. All right, I think this is where we are going to stop for today's episode. And we will continue on with more of this tutorial for the next one. So that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to show your support and tap that thumbs up button. Also, if you check out in the links below for all the social media, including Patreon, to show your support, that would be greatly appreciated. And have a great rest of your day. Live long and prosper.